content of his graduation remarks. Dylan has demonstrated his passion for improving the well-being of law students by founding the student chapter of the National Alliance on Mental Illness, NAMI, at Southwestern. His efforts to raise awareness about mental health challenges facing law students and reduce the stigma associated with mental health issues are commendable and earned him recognition as one of eight National Jurist Law Students of the Year. But Dylan's impact extends far beyond his work with NAMI. He has been involved in many activities and initiatives at Southwestern. Among other things, he has served as, get ready for this list, a teaching assistant for five different professors, wow. the ABA representative for the Student Bar Association, a founding member of the Dean's Leadership Academy, a student leader for the Public Service Program Small Claims Clinic, a Dean's Fellow, a peer mentor, a judicial extern for two different courts, a staff member on the Southwestern Law Review, and a student clinician in the entertainment and the Arts Legal Clinic. This summer, Dylan will serve as a summer associate with the prestigious firm of D Gibson, Dunn, and Crutcher LLP. Dylan embodies the values and qualities that Southwestern strives to instill in all of our graduates. Excellence, leadership, compassion, and dedication to service. Please join me in welcoming Dylan, your class speaker. Yeah. Hey, hi everyone. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Dean Dickerson. Um, let me get my little papers out here. And hello, hello students. Hello parents, family, friends, faculty, and staff. My name is Dylan Gunaretna, and today is a day of immense pride and celebration for all of us. Today is the day that either you or someone you love is finally graduating from law school. Today is the day that we leave this institution with our Juris Doctor. And most people will never experience a day like today because most people are not crazy enough to put themselves through the arduous yet extremely gratifying task of gaining a legal education. As the graduates in today's audience know, and maybe some of the friends and family too, Gaining a JD is a formidable task, one filled with many sleepless nights, studying and memorizing so many sectors of the law that impact and affect today's world, from criminal procedure to constitutional law and so many others. As we leave this law school today, we enter the world armed with a new set of tools and skills. We've learned over the past few years how to look at a set of facts, analyze the law, and then apply legal principles and rules to those facts. We get trained basically how to think like lawyers. And our legal training equips us with the necessary tools to think methodically, diligently, cautiously, and precisely in everything that we do. We learn the art and the science of discipline because we live it every day. We begin to understand our own capacities and we push our own mental and physical boundaries. And in that process, our minds begin to change. So research from the University of California, Berkeley Psychology has shown that intensive, get this guys, intensive preparation for the LSAT actually changes microscopic structures of your brain. Now, this is the case. Indeed, law school must profoundly change our brain in numerous ways. We learn how to deduce complex chains of logical inferences. We learn how to, um, we learn how, sorry, we learn our own personal limitations. We learn about the limitations that are embedded within the systems that make our society function. As shepherds of the law, we choose and we decide to be arbiters of the law of justice and truth. We take our legal education and we use it to shape our world. So Southwestern Law School has a history of creating a number of change makers, trailblazers, and pioneers. Southwestern Law School is actually one of the first law schools in the nation
to actually encourage women and people of color to enroll in its JD program. Indeed, in 1915, the law school's first graduate was Miss Betty Trier Berry. Miss Berry, yes, Miss Berry was actually the first woman in the U.S. to serve as a public defender. And in fact, many, we should be very proud of the many law school graduates from Southwestern and the alumni that have achieved many firsts in their own right. For instance, the first Latina trial court judge, Francis Munoz, the first Native American judge in California, Fred Gabare, the first female African American judge in California, Bano Spencer, the first female African American appellate justice in the country, Arlie Woods, the first Iranian to be appointed or to serve as a judge in California, Shala Sabat. The first Chinese American to be appointed to the federal bench in the continental US, Ronald Liu. So many, and for many of us as well, we have been and we have been achieving first in our own right, in our own families, right? For many of you, it was the first time you were the first to go to, your, to college, you were the first to go to law school in your family, you were the first to break patterns of generational trauma, Yeah, some people resonated with that one. <laughs> I did, that's, that's why I wrote it. <laughs> Relate to that one myself. We were the first to actually choose a career that we love instead of having to be forced into a career because of a lack of opportunity and a lack of, a no, in no way, a lack of skill or talent. And for those of us who have not been first in our own right, I know that our education at Southwestern Law School will ensure that none of us will ever be the last. Ingrained in our culture at Southwestern is a deep and pure sense of community. Whether you're graduating from the traditional day program, the part-time program, the scale program, I know that for each and every one of you, you know at least one person whose path looks a lot different than yours. It's from sharing our own unique experiences that we get instilled within us a deep sense of togetherness. Oh, no. So with that togetherness in mind, I would like to ask all my colleagues here, all the student graduates today, to turn to the student on their left and the student on their right and do one thing, and say one thing rather. Say, I'm proud of you. Take a moment to do this right now. I hope, I hope all of you revel in this communal sense of pride and let it carry you into the next chapter of your life. It's with pride that I say congratulations to all my colleagues here today. Thank you so much to the incredible faculty and staff at Southwestern who have encouraged and nurtured our development over the past few years. And thank you to the family and friends in today's audience, who without your support, we would not have been able to do any of this at all. Thank you for keeping our spirits burning bright. Thank you all. <laughs>